I've been fortunate enough to do theater. I, I still do lots of uh, choir directing. I, uh, I'm fascinated with choirs. Really? Yes, yeah, so, because I was, I was also the choir director for our church. Uh, and I was also choir director for the Nova Scotia Mass Choir. I just love, love choirs. Love watching them. Love being in them. That's so them. intriguing. Yes. Like the harmonies or harmonies. Oh, harmony king! I love harmonies because there's so many different things you can do. So many different colors you can do with with a chord. I was away doing a play somewhere, and uh, Linda Carvery told me that they're uh, auditioning for Lion King. So I came back to Halifax for to audition. I sang for them, and they flew me to Toronto for my final audition. I sang for them, and I did a piece of the text. And uh, they called me about a couple months later. To tell you that you were playing? Actually, to tell me that I didn't get it. <gasps> and then... Get surprise! I know. I got off the phone. I was like, oh, okay, well, whatever, whatever. And I got a phone call about 15 minutes later telling me, the person that just talked to me was fired. <laughs> Don't listen to them. We're 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 in a place here. We're gonna have. We'll call you tomorrow. And they called me the next day and said that I, I got the role. Now that's a crazy story. That's a crazy story. That's it's, God. That's God was like, mm -hmm. I don't know what he was talking about, but that was always <laughs> Jeremiah Sparks' role. Well, and what part was it? Mufasa. Mufasa. Mm. Doesn't he sound like a Mufasa guy? Uh, it's just all that weight and bass and love in his voice. Playing Mufasa was, was amazing. Uh, I was in that Lion King for two years. And uh, we did a lot, and uh, I spent a lot of money and wasted, <laughs> wasted a lot of money. Well, that's what that's happens. A, that's when what you, you get do, the, right? I mean, not always, but you get those uh, long contracts, mm -hmm. uh, big contracts, and then you, um, if you're not wise enough to realize that they might come to an end at some point, <laughs> Just saying, guys. Paula. You live as though <laughs> no one is watching. And, yes. and then you reap the benefits of that. Yes. Sadly. But you lived your life. Oh, yeah. Life is good. Do you know what I mean? The money will come. I think that both of us Absolutely. can, the both of us Absolutely. can attest to the fact that we've never been destitute. Sometimes we think we're going to be. <laughs> but we've never been destitute. The money will come. There's always something you can do, but you live your life to the fullest so that, that you never have regrets. You never think about what if I had. Mm -hmm. So I, I, just... I'm sure you don't begrudge the fact that you lived those two years. No, no, not at all. But you live and learn. You know? Exactly. That's, that's another thing you got to do in life, live and learn. <laughs> you know, because if you just keep living and not learning. Mm. It's a way to live, I guess. Words of wisdom, yes. Jeremiah yeah, Sparks. <laughs> live and learn. Live and learn. Star just living. It's, <laughs> it's, it's good. It's, it's all good. good. It's all good. Uh, I played Louis Armstrong in Satchmo Suite. Um, it was written by Hans Bogold and, and Doug Innes. Uh, and I always enjoyed Louis Armstrong as it was, but this made me research him. So I really enjoyed playing that role because I find there's a lot of similarities with Louis Armstrong with, and myself. Oh, really? Yes, and uh, I had to <clears throat> take on that, 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 that tone of voice and the how he talks. And it was some, something that I was able to find, and, and I was able to do it eight shows a week. Fun fact, mm -hmm. I also played Louis Armstrong <laughs> in a show called <laughs> Cooking in the Cookery. And I had did to, you? I did, and I just, I just sing that game and play a little trumpet. <laughs> My sopro is not as uh, bassy bye, bye, bye. as Mr. Jeremiah's voice, but you know, something else we have in common. The was not just up as I desire. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another episode of The Blackter Studio. So, Jeremiah. <laughs> I also call him Jeremiah. Um, I have a lot of pet names for Jeremiah Sparks, guys. <laughs> um, I call him Jeremiah because, well, because it just makes sense. Also, he loves harmonies. <laughs> so just that's a little insight into my brains, if you were wondering, because you were. Jeremiah Sparks. <laughs>